What's up everybody, welcome to your 23rd C++ tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to input and output files. Actually I'm just going to be teaching you how to create a file but eventually we'll be learning that so just stick with me. The first thing that we're going to want to do is include something that's going to allow us to input and output files and this is called the F stream. So let's go ahead and put and add another include. Let me move this out of the way. And the syntax for this is f stream. Now this um, little bit of code right here, it's gonna allow you to stream text files in and out. So just make sure you have that anytime that you're working with uh, getting a file or outputting a file. You don't really need to know the uh, workings behind that, but make sure you got it. The next thing that I'm going to show you guys to do is how to input or output and create a file. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go in your main function and type in of stream. And this is a syntax for uh, creating, well let me just finish this, my file with a semicolon. And what this does is it creates an object called my file and this object is going to allow you to output files on your computer or create files so let's go ahead and do that right now the first thing that we're going to want to do is use your object my file it says alright we have this object that's that allows you to output files so the first thing that we're going to want to do is open a file and to do this type the word my file period open and in your um, parentheses, name the file that you want to open. Now, I'm going to say new file because I don't have a file on my computer yet. And if you open a file that you don't already have on your computer, it's going to create a file for you. So right now, we used our object that we just created in my file. And we are going to open a file called new file.txt. We're going to open a new text file. And I don't have this on my computer yet, so C++ is going to create a text file for me. The next thing that we're going to want to do is um, add some text to our file just because we don't want to be opening up an empty text file. So to do, to do this, gear object, my file, and since we already have this text file open, Whatever we input to my file is going to input to this text file. So what do we want to write in? Um, oops. There we go. Let's write um, this will show up in the file. And we'll add a new line for ease of reading. So now what we did is we created an object that allowed it allowed us to open files we opened or created a file called new file dot text and we added some words or a, a sentence to our text file just because we didn't want it empty and after you have created all your files and added some text to it you always want to close um, whatever you've been working on and ju this just helps so you uh, don't have any memory leaks or anything like that so let's go ahead and execute a uh, compile and run and I know you guys can't see my desktop because of my screen recorder but you guys have to believe that um, <coughs> I don't have a file already so this is compiling and it's uh, when it's running it's creating a file right now and it says press any key to continue and in case you guys can't see it or not in case I know you guys didn't see it but there's a little icon that popped up let me try and drag it oh, I can't but there's a little icon that popped up in a new text file just created on my desktop so let me click and open that and show you guys this file was just created when I ran that and the text on it says this will show up in the file so I have a file called new file that was just created here and the text that I input it it says this will show up in the file is this text right here so let me close that 
And again, let's recap this one more time so it sticks in your head. The first thing you're going to need to do is include this, and this allows you to input and output um, files and not just text. Right here creates an object so you can uh, work with files. And this object you use throughout the rest of your program, and you can open your files with it, close files, write text to a file, and that's what we did all right here. So study this. Um, practice creating uh, files and writing some text into them and again uh, just, in just in case you guys wanted to know if you guys have a file that's already created and you do this um, let's just put new line if you already have a file that's created and you try to um, make a new line or open it and do this it's gonna replace what's already there it's not going to just um, add something else onto your rest of your thing. So again, as you can see, it didn't just say uh, this is a text we created then added a new line to it. It totally replaces it. So if you already have a file and you open it, it's going to totally replace it and uh, give you that, what you just saw happen. So again, uh, learn how to do this. It's really simple. If you practice with it like two times, you'll be an expert on it. So in case you guys want to get this code, I'm going to put it on my site, thenewboston.com, so you can get it there. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next tutorial.